Three, two, one. Okay. Shh. All right. So this is a uh, this category. Uh, it says and he said no tele jumping, but due to a trick that was found about two weeks ago, this category is now called no out of bounds um, because no tele jumping uses the new trick. So they just they kind of just changed this name, the name of this. Um, so yeah, this is arguably the most boring category. Sorry. Um, he's just gonna, he's basically gonna, gonna play the game as it should be played, um, but very fast. Who would play the game normally? Um, yeah. It's, if you, if you wanted to watch real, like, skillful playing this game, you watch 100% because that's where all the challenge is. Um, but first he's gonna make his way to, I, sorry, first, we've already passed it, but there's a, an exploit in this game where um, you can press the R key at any time and it'll reset you to your first uh, checkpoint you've been to, the last checkpoint you've been to. Um, so in the initial cutscene, you can press R um, and it'll reset you to the ship, um, which you're, me you're meant to spawn in the first level. Um, you can, you can uh, suicide out of that the ship. You can do the levels in any which way you like, instead of having to do the first level. So he's, he's going to do uh, Space Station 2 first. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting actually, so I don't need to. Yeah. Uh, skips. I, that won't explain. Uh, truth skip exists. That was the... If you couldn't tell, truth. I uh, catch the first train cycle. I essentially... Just not touching the save and just dropping into it. A lot of this category is about getting the cycles right, um, getting the first cycles on everything. Um, I don't think it's practiced very much, so you might not see all the perfect cycles. Um, yeah. 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 Arguably. Yeah, pretty good. yeah. Arguably, if you missed Cooper balls, I don't know. What? It. I didn't do any of those. Uh. Well, if you missed the earlier. V6 run of, I think it was, it's just any pursuit. Um, that was essentially using a lot of, a lot more tech, a lot more glitches, and arguably, I, I also agree, it's quite a bit more interesting. Um, skill wise, I'd say, uh, Cooper Ball is much more skilled than me. Like, uh, has played this game much longer, and has a better understanding, but. Hey, you're doing, you're doing better than practice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, there is a fast cycle there, but I don't know how to do it. It's hard, and also marathon safety. Apparently we're underestimate. Uh, Worcester came up to me and was like, Man, you better be underestimate. And I was like, yeah, I have 20 minutes. Uh, Alright, so that, that's minutes. the first crewmate rescued. Uh, next is warp zone. Okay. It is. Warp, is it? Yeah. Is it warp zone? Well, it's warp zone and then tower, right? Yeah. Warp zone, tower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, relatively linear. The major skip in this category is um, Gravitron skip. Yeah, you can explain it. Yeah, so because you saw at the start we basically sequence break. We were meant to do the first level, but we suicided out of it. We're going, we're going to... Uh, so after you rescue the third uh, crewmate, you're forced to do intermission one, um, which is like a, a following mission. Uh, and then after you saw, uh, after you rescue the fourth crewmate, you have to you're meant to do the gravitron, which is intermission two, which is a pain in the ass. Um, but luckily, if we save the first crewmate uh, as the fourth one, we can actually. Uh, sequence break and skip, like force skip the Gravitron, which saves minutes of time, like, and I'll, yeah. Yeah, essentially it's, it's really weird, a lot of the glitches in this game are very major, like, I should be doing that, um, let's see. Oh, got hey. it, okay. <laughs> no broads yet, um, yeah, essentially it's a lot of skipping and using 
things that you wouldn't really expect to be in a modern Flash game to uh, use it in a modern Flash game. Um, playing video games and talking is hard. So, the major gimmick of this, uh, of this level, I guess, is, uh, that if you go off one side of the screen, you'll come up on the other side. Yeah. So, sometimes, in a, in a lot of levels, right, the, as soon as you enter this, this screen, um, the cycle always begin, cycles always begin at the same point. So, if you miss the cycle, you can just exit the screen and come back. The cycle will reset. Uh, will always reset. But in this, um, sometimes, depending on the level, if you walk off the side of the screen, it won't put you back. Um, so if you do miss, sometimes if you do miss the cycle, you do have to find an, a way to to re-enter the cycle, like to find a new cycle to. Do. This is really. This is better than practice. Can you believe it? You didn't screw up that jump. I wanna wait there. There we go. Don't grow. That's roommate number two. Can't believe we missed that. And that is warp zone. Uh, up next mm. is the auto scroller section of the, the game, which every game's gotta have an auto scroller. Especially platformers. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you actually have to pay attention in this auto scroller because if you it, do scrub it will it'll cost you a lot of time. Yeah, it's for an auto scroller I would say it's done really well. I I'm not going the right way. Yes you are. Well I could which Where are you going? I was going to lab. We can just go to lab. I'm too tired. Uh, I lost focus. Now I'm going to a completely different section entirely. It's lab. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Does it affect my routing? It does it. What? Is, I don't you know. have to go to the tower. This is. Oh, this is tower. This I'm is done. The tower. <laughs> and. will be fine. Time loss was not major. Just don't die. Life advice, don't die. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What else, what else do you want to talk about? Uh... You got time. <laughs> Run this game, please. We need... I want to race somebody. It's so boring at the top. It's so boring at the top. I mean, everyone races any percent, no oob. Everyone plays it. Everyone does the other ones for some strange reason. All the categories might be too hard. Uh, yeah. Um, quick thing to note. In this section, that you can actually save a few frames. I'm being a bit dumb. You can actually save frames by resetting once you hit a checkpoint on the top of the screen because of the way deaths work. Yeah. What? So yeah, you can you can speed up the scrolling very slightly by a few frames. And if you die, if you hit a checkpoint and die um, while it's, while the checkpoint's at the top of the screen, it'll force push the um, it'll force push the screen down because you'll you always <coughs> if you reset to a checkpoint in the tower, it always resets at a certain height yeah, on the it screen. Down to it. So if it's at the top, it'll force push it down to the middle of the screen, which can, which will speed up the scrolling very slightly. Very you still, slightly. You, you, the amount of time that you lose from dying, minus the, like, plus the time that you save, only results in a minuscule time zone. Yeah, yeah. it's not much. It's good no. enough. And that no. was the tower. Don't softlock. I want softlock, I promise. By softlock, it's pretty easy to softlock, but... You could, you sh you'll usually be fine. Uh, this, wait, no, this is intermission Oh, wait, one. yeah. Ha! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Imagine shows, uh, shows how much around. I run this category. I've forgotten what the, the order of uh, things are. Shows how much I practice. I, I keep on missing inputs. That's really bad. 
still safe. Didn't do the fast. So this this intermission is all about like purely about cycles. Everything can be done like really fast. Uh... Yeah, I'm being a bit slow, but the amount of time you can actually lose from uh, stuffing up in this section is quite a bit more because instead of it being just Viridian, you got yeah. red you guy. Have, you have to Vermillion. wait. For yeah, and that was dumb. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Personally, this is probably my this is this section of the game is the one I do the worst at for oh, reasons good. of it's choking that specific screen loses so much time. It's really bad. This is arguably one of the hardest uh, stages, but if you know that how to do this the yeah. cycles, then that's not even like the fastest method of doing it. Yeah, you could do it much faster. I don't, I don't know how to do the fastest one. Fast one where you don't even have to go on the bottom of the uh, thing, so you can just you time it like frame perfect. That will follow you across the top. This one has a setup where you can just essentially just go. I assume that was intended by the developer. But it probably was. And that is intermission one. Now don't soft lock. <laughs> I won't. Uh, now here's the skip. Here, and so, so, yeah. so this is what. We would. Yeah. What I was talking about earlier. Um, you go back <laughs> because we passed this teleport all earlier. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, we can teleport to it, and that's the end of the first level. Yeah. So what he does is he will suicide as he's talking to the the crewmate. Um, if you don't suicide on the very first frame, then a cutscene will start and it'll reset you to the start. And it'll act like you've saved no crewmates. Game over. Like, run over. Yeah. I think. Luckily, even though I said first frame, you can just hold down um, the R button. You can buffer the input, and it'll occur first frame. And you'll... You'll basically... Uh, you'll rip him out of the cutscene, and you'll be able yeah. to just keep going on with the... Uh, yeah. yeah. So... I I think the reason why Gravitron skip works is because oh, yeah. the trigger... It's, yeah, it's because, like, so it... it yeah, the trigger for the cutscene, like... Is more important is than more impor the... Is more important than... Yeah. So generally, at the end of the fourth mission, it's meant to warp you to the to the Gravitron, but instead, it realises, yo, you finished level one, um, here's the cutscene. Who cares, you know... Yeah, and Forgets the... about Gravitron, yeah. but then luckily you can... Yeah, exit the cutscene because the cutscene and continue. Yeah, that's weird. That doesn't happen often. Um, yeah, essentially, because I'm pretty sure the cutscene resets several characters' position for the cutscene itself. Uh, set up for this. It's cool. Um, and essentially that allows you to just like avoid resetting those characters' positions. And yeah, it's easy. Damn. You don't have to go around. What are you doing? Uh, why not? This is also pseudo setup. You can usually get a pretty consistent cycle for this. I'm not doing the fast strat, strat for this because I don't know it. It's fast, but not that fast. Alright, so this this is the last crewmate to be rescued. Um, so, we're gonna enter the final level. Um, which, despite its ominous name, isn't as hard as you think it is. Yeah. There's a few hard, there's a few hard uh, levels, but it's pretty much, it's pretty easy. It's pretty much a summary of all the other levels. Yeah, it's, except Intermission 1. Intermission 1 is its own thing. And Gravitron? Yeah, Gravitron and Intermission 1 are their own things. Yeah. No one really likes It's kind of, it's, uh, it's a remix, if you will. It's a remix. I, I, I think that's the best I think word even, I think even the uh, music is like... I forgot. <laughs> you can brother, you get bro permission. just kind of set it up. 
Um, that's bad. This is bad. Oh, hold, this is bad. Uh, there's also a strat for that. It works most of the time. Now, yep. Yes, now. I don't need that save. Yeah. You can clip through the trampoline. Press R. Press R. Oh, yeah, okay. um, you can clip through the, the trampolines, uh, like low tramp trampolines that are very low to the ground. Um, you can clip through them because if you press, I think apparently if you press the flip input on the right frame uh -huh. while you're in the trampoline, you'll clip through it. Uh, but it. For humans, it's only really viable if the if the line is very close to the ground. So you'll see like two of them here. Um, it's only viable if it's close to the ground because you can just spam the flip button, and yeah. eventually you'll go through. On on the uh, high like on further away like trampolines. This is it's, pretty, it's pretty much Taz only, I think. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I didn't know about that setup. Uh, you can actually... I keep on accidentally hitting uh, up. Um, you can actually jump uh, right next to that spike in the villi people room, and essentially it just gets gets you where you want to be. Uh, yeah, it's a setup. It's pretty nice. Yeah, so this is the last hard bit. Got the uh, Make sure you don't hit the spike. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> That's... Whoa. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna donate five dollars because I have money spare. That's arguably the worst. That's like a very big choke. I'm yeah, yeah. very sorry. Did not intend to swear. <laughs> it's gonna haunt me for the rest of my days. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. Uh, yeah. So this bit here is like the hardest bit of the thing. You just have to make sure you don't. Die there, yeah. And then, yeah. yeah. This game is... It's not the hardest run, but it has some chokes. You couldn't tell. But, time will come up. Uh, six rooms after V. Yeah. After V6. So when, it, when game complete comes up. Um, okay, I'm gonna quickly read out some shoutouts. Shoutouts to Advent, Poopy John Goopers, Grand Pangea, everyone else in Seafood Ocean Inc., Wallsk and all the streamers I watch, ASM, and the family. Ah, uh, time. <laughs> This game goes off in game time, so up there, 1734. That's not bad. That's actually like, that's much better than I was expecting. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoy the rest of ASM. I was Atoms, that's Creeper Ball. I'll catch you guys around.